Brooks Stadium in Conway, South Carolina would appear to be a far cry from the classics. But Chaucer would be very proud of the fight that his Chanticleers will bring to the teal. Today, a showdown of a couple of foes from the Sun Belt. As we'll see, the Appalachian State Mountaineers taking on the Coastal Carolina Chanticleers. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, David Pollock, and Jesse Palmer with me. Guys, it's time to get it going. The shot that clears will put total leather and will get started. Fielded in the end zone, it's Roberts. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. So the App State Mountaineers offense will get the first swing of the game. And here comes this quarterback. This entire offense is built around him. He is the engine of the entire team. I mean, he's the leader. He's the alpha. Everybody looks towards him. He's been doing it all year long. Everybody believes in this young man. Big opportunity, big stage. Get some work done there. Pick up a four to the 22. Small gain, I know. But again, the defense knows he's going to run the football. He's willing to run the football, not just drop back and pass. Make him honor the run game. You've got to do a lot of this. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. Here's a quick throw out to the left. Still running at the 40. And the tackle is made, but not before. That completion gets him 30-plus. Well, after that last play, you can see how electrifying this guy is and how special he is after he makes the catch. If I'm on offense, I'm trying to find a lot of ways to get him touches in this game. And the Mountaineers moving quickly to the line. Off the play fake on first down. Makes the grab outside. It's Robinson. I love offenses and quarterbacks that are willing to take the easy stuff. Take those easy throws that are guaranteed to get positive yards. Yeah, I'm going to take big shots down the field, too. But don't forget, it's easier to pick up second and five, third and five, than it is when we start getting those long yarded situations. From the gun, the ground game. They get him after he picked up five and got him inside the red zone down to the 16. And, you know, when we talk about great third down defenses, it really starts with them getting stops on first and second down. You've got to get those stops early in the drives to set up third and long. So that's a missed opportunity on that second down by this defense. On third and short, the run and looking for the first down. And this one will be stopped for no gain. How about the defender being a heat seeking missile he was on radar lock he found the football and flew down with some bad intentions and on fourth down they'll try to salvage the drive with a field goal it is perfect and with that they break the seal on the scoring it's three nothing I know one thing this head coach does every week is he challenges his guys to start fast. And it's so important today, playing on the road in this kind of environment. You saw a nice drive. They didn't get the touchdown they would have loved, but still, kicking that field goal and taking this early lead, that's a statement for the visiting team. So they were able to put up a three spot on that last drive, and now the kickoff team out there as they prepare to put boot to leather. On the run from inside his own five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. So the Coastal Carolina Chanticleers offense will try to get something started with their first possession. As we take a look at our impact players for this game, David, what do you look for to make an impact from your leaders? Your leaders not only have to lead the football team, but they got to step up and make plays on the field, keep everybody calm. These guys typically do a really good job on it. Yeah, David, and they also generally set the tone for their respective football teams. Regardless of which side of the ball they play on, the teammates look towards them to step up in big games like this. Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. 
They'll move the running back to try to force the defense to adjust. Grabbed in the backfield. It's Washington. And they wrap him up, but not before he's got enough for the first down. Well, it's a nice play design there. You're getting the running back involved in the pass game. Quarterback gives it to him early so he can go to work upfield and get the first down. It'll be a first and 10 from the 29. They'll give it to the back. They knock him down after he picks up five out to the 34. I know the passing game sells and the passing game is exciting, but it's not exciting to get five or six yards a pop on the ground, but it will be very successful. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. To the air, it's Basco. He finds his man. That is exactly what you're looking for when you talk explosive plays. The defense finally able to make the stop. How nice is it as a quarterback when you don't have to throw post routes to get great stats? No, I can just throw it quickly to one of the fastest players in the entire nation and let him burn this defense. And the shot to clears are in the hurry up. Throws to the wideout. Got his man downfield. Gets it into the end zone, but there's a flag down. We'll see if this one is coming back. The officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. Wants to go up top. Feeling some heat. Buys a little time with his feet. He'll try to do it himself. And he's a real nowhere man tackled in this no-gain land. He was trying to push it downfield. He was looking for a receiver, trying to make a play. You could tell the pressure started to get to him a little bit. Nowhere to go with the football and just fights back to the line of scrimmage. Let's see what they've got on second down. He's looking to throw. Snagged in the middle. It's Taylor. Gets him down at the 30 after a 15-yard pickup. They are threatening, and they have a first down. When these wide receivers work the middle of the field, so much of this is feel. Understanding where the holes are in the zone or understanding how to get leverage on a man. And these wide receivers are dangerous nowadays because they do it so fast and see that so quick and make those plays over the middle. He's going for it all. And he had it for a second, but it just dribbled out of his hands. Well, the tight end's a guy that's going to have to be able to make plays for this offense in the passing game. That time, QB looking for the big fella. He ran a good route, just couldn't reel it in. Couldn't make the play last time. Now it's second and 10 from the 30. Looking for a man. It's Vasco. Fires to the middle. And the throw down the gut falls to the grass. Well, on that last play, you'd like to see the quarterback be a little bit more accurate and give his guy a chance to make the play. That ball wasn't even close to his intended target's body. They were really starting to put a drive together. But after a couple of incompletions, now they need a big play on third and ten. They want to just keep throwing it. Trying to make magic on the scramble. Picks up the first down and gets down to avoid contact. Nice job, nice way to end that play for the QB. He does a really good job scrambling, getting the first down, and getting down. Because defensively, I'm trying to get a lick. Anytime I can hit the quarterback, that is a win. The shot to clears have it with a first and ten. Trying to run, it's Washington. Operating in the red zone here on second down. Looking for room. It's Washington. Relying on that running game inside the red zone. He picked up three to the 11. Boy, they love to move the sticks here and take a shot at it on first and goal. On third and long, he's going to have to throw for it. 
And to the end zone. Touchdown goes to Carolina. And what a nice start for this offense. The throw game getting working, getting the touchdown pass. This quarterback getting a little bit of confidence. This passing game getting in a rhythm. Nice start for this offense. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point is good, and it's a four-point lead. They put it in the end zone with a 12-play scoring drive. And they finish it with an 11-yard touchdown dart. They're lining up to boot it away. He'll start the return inside his five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. The Appalachian State offense returns to the field. Guys, that last trip a little disappointing having to take the three. Yeah, and I think, Jesse, you see so many offenses talk about getting yards and the tempo and all the stuff they do. It was a nice job moving the football, but they got to get in the end zone this time. Yeah, and I think to do that, they just got to be more physical at the point of attack. Get some push up front. They need to be the best running team in this game to win. Now here on second down, see if they keep tossing it around. They'll try the run. Out across the 30, Mark down at the 35 after the 10-yard gain. Well, with the weapons this offense has, you knew it was just a matter of time in the run game before someone was going to break a long one. They'd just been running into a wall. They just couldn't seem to find their creases and get enough movement up front, but they finally got it there, picking up the first. Let's see what happens next. They'll throw it on first down. Caught in the backfield. It's Horn. They make the stop after the catch and still some work to do to pick up that first down. I love early in a game getting my quarterback in a rhythm. Coming out, short passes, easy completions. Now we're getting in a good spot. Picked up some yardage with that completion. Now second down. Hand off to the lone back. Brought down at the 48 after a gain of five. You know, you start day one of training camp running your base runs. You need a few yards, you run these plays. You need a first down, you run these plays. You rep them over and over and over again. They're not sexy, they're not pretty, but in the end, they're effective and they get you that new set of downs when you need them. Wants to throw on first down off the play fake. Makes the grab. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. Yeah, and he runs a quick out route, and this is a timing route. Quarterback has to trust him, throw him the football. You can tell they've thrown this a time or two. Nice job, nice success. The Mountaineers racing to the line in the hurry up. Gonna run it, it's Roberts. They pick up half of it. It'll be second and five. Hey, five to six yards a pop. I don't know if you guys are really good at math, but that usually equals a first down every couple carries. So don't forget about the run game. Keep them honest. Pound that rock. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Back to pass. It's Aguilar. Tight end finds a soft spot. He steps out of bounds, but it will be enough for a first down. That throw and catch, a really good example of why coaches don't want a quarterback to get stuck on a particular target, isn't it, David? Yep, that's exactly right. Find the guy who's open, because you got so many guys that have so much speed that can do so much damage on the field. Find my matchup, get it to him, let him do the rest. Running back goes in motion. From the red zone, he's going to throw it. Pulls it in, it's Roberts. And he goes out of bounds after a nice pickup on that one. Listen, running backs are not just running backs anymore. You're going to be a wide receiver in today's football. And a great job sneaking out of the backfield, getting the football, letting them get some positive yards. Tune in to the Ocho. Eighth play of the drive coming up. 
Running back searching for a hole. And they'll stop him just short of the first down, just inches away from moving the sticks. Keep pounding away at this defense and make them play the run. If you can get this many a chunk, they're going to have to commit more guys to the box, more guys to the run. Then you open it up for the passing game. Time winding down in the quarter as they come to the line. Trying play action. Unleashes to the end zone. And it's caught. Touchdown, App State. That touchdown was a clinic in keeping your offense on the field and wearing the other defense out. Sometimes your best defense is your own offense, being able to stay on the field. You're absolutely right, Reese. That was a clinic. Running the ball, playing at great rhythm and pace, QB making good, smart decisions, and not shooting yourselves in the foot. No penalties, no turnovers. It doesn't get any better than that last drive. And the extra point puts them up by a field goal. Guys, it's Appalachian State holding the lead at the end of the quarter. We've played one before we move on. Let's have a look at the stats. Now to see if these guys can get back in the game as we open the second quarter. The kickoff unit about to go to work. He'll bring it out. It's Bennett. Just never had a chance to shake loose, and he'll be brought down at the 24. Coastal Carolina takes over, and here comes the offense. After standing on the sideline and watching that long touchdown drive, they really need to put something together to give their defense a rest. And that's a real thing, man. Like, you played a lot of plays, you get worn out, you need a chance to go decompress on the sideline, get some oxygen. Palmer, now it's on this offense. Yeah, this is the definition of complementary football because it's a two-pronged problem. You've got to score points and answer, but you've also got to take your time and give your defense an opportunity to get their win. It's first and 10 from the 38-yard line. They go to the ground. And excellent vision to find running room there and make a really good pickup before the defense put a stop to it. You ain't getting by all these guys right up the middle unless your offensive line and your tight ends and everybody is putting in the work up front, committing to blocking. The running back does a great job finding the hole, exploding through. How about that nice, big, huge game? If I'm the OC, let's call that one again. Quarterback now breaking the field. And he can't find a receiver, and down he goes. You know, one of the tricky parts with play action for a quarterback is that when you turn your back to the defense to sell the play fake, you have no idea what's going on behind you. You don't know what the coverage has become, and you don't know which D linemen have won their one-on-ones. The worst thing is you turn around after the play fake, and bam, that defender's right in your face. Big first down sack for the defense brings up second down. To the air, it's Basco. Fires to the big fella. Terrific job getting to him. There was nowhere to go. Must be nice for this quarterback knowing he's got this type of athlete playing the tight end position. That can work the middle of the field for him. He's a guy who can stretch it vertically as well, but this is a guy the QB will look for early and often this game. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. And they couldn't hold off the heat, and he goes down with the sack. In that third and long situation, you'd like to see your quarterback have a plan. You know that they may dial up the blitz, so you've got to know where your answers are. Where's your hot route? Where's your sight adjust? Where can you get rid of the football if they bring an extra guy and the offense didn't look like they were ready for it? And the shot to clears will punt this one away. They'll have to punt for the first time this afternoon. Here's the fair catch, and he'll make it close to the 20-yard line. Appalachian State regains possession, and the Mountaineer offense headed to the field. Going up top on first down. Fires to the tight end. He's brought down, but he went backwards after that completion, not the way they had it drawn up.
And they are looking for a ball play that will work. Now facing second and long from the 19. He's looking to throw. Using the quick game. Pulled down for the tackle. Well, you can tell those two have been practicing the out route all offseason long. They look like they could have completed that in their sleep. Ball spotted at the 29. Here they come on third and short. Wants to throw. It's Aguilar. Fires to the wideout. They were trying to work the outside, and he played that perfectly and almost got the pick. And I like the aggressiveness on third and short, trying to throw the football, take advantage of a look that they got. They weren't successful, and now it's fourth and short territory. Who knows what they're going to do? And the Mountaineers will call on their punt team. They'll look to pin them deep. He'll bring it back. It's Graves. The coverage team was down there to corral him. They made the stop, and they'll mark it at the 39. Coastal Carolina has it. The Chanticleer offense headed back to the field. Quarterback on the keeper. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Well, they were trying to set up the option, but the quarterback had no chance. Did you see the defensive tackle penetrate? What a great first step. He shot right through the offensive line and got the TFL. After getting knocked back to open this drive, it's second and 12. He's looking to throw. Spits it out to the back. Just too much juice on that one as he airmails his receiver out of bounds. Now facing a third and long. From the gun, wants to pass. Got it in the middle, it's Washington. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. You got to love that on defense. One of the most critical statistics out there is how do you play on third down? How do you prevent the opponent from keeping drives alive? Right there, tackling the catch. You gave up the completion. Whoop-de-doo. You set up fourth and long. You're going to get the ball back. Go get some water and celebrate. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Fair catch called for and made. The Appalachian State offense returns to the field. They missed an opportunity to extend this lead the last time they had it, Jesse. Yeah, they got to be able to regain that momentum, right? Go back to what was working earlier on in this one. And, David, to me, that starts with being the more physical team. No, I definitely agree. Being the more physical team, but understanding the situation of the game, you're still winning. You got the football back. Now put a nice drive together and execute. That's a way to give yourself some breathing room. Now the second play of the drive from the 36. On the ground, it's Roberts. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. They're trying to run the ball on first down, guys, but just nothing doing up front. Their offensive line got blown up on that play. There was nowhere for that guy to go. After losing a couple on that last play, here's second and 12. It's a draw. Pretty good effort on that one to work his way up to the 42. Offensive linemen love when you sneak in draws, when you sneak in screens. It holds these defensive linemen accountable. You want to rush the quarterback? You want to fly upfield every single play? We'll sneak right behind you and get some yardage. Ball is at the 42-yard line, close to four-down territory. Here's third and short. Grab near the marker. It's Jackson. They make the stop, but the sweet rolling catch is plenty to give them a first down. He might have expected to see this DB up in his receiver's kitchen instead. Nice little zone, and they pick up the first. Man, offenses are getting so good, Reese, at seeing the holes in the zone, knowing you're in zone, knowing where to sit down, how to make it an easy pitch and catch for the quarterback, and that's what it was on third and short. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. The run game just has not been working for this offense all game long. You saw it on that last play as well. Just not getting enough push up front on the offensive line. They haven't been physical enough. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. Right back to him on the ground. 
And the defense makes the stop after a minimal gain. Now, that's what you try to do as a defense. Limit those damages when they run the football. Get them on the ground, short gains to set your defense for positive situations down the road. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. On third down, going up top. Looking for a deep man. And it's incomplete. Good play downfield by the DB. Yeah, and I like the shot, the aggressive play down the field. And we like throwing those jump balls up to my receiver because usually the receiver makes the play and makes the defender look bad. Nice job by the defender getting a hand on it, tipping that ball away from the wide receiver. The Mountaineers will send out the punt unit. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. He won't be able to return this one as it goes out of bounds. Coastal Carolina takes over, and here comes the offense. They'll try it on the ground, running the counter. They make the stop after a gain of three to the 31. Nice run there on first down. You know, this is a running back that gets better as the game goes on. So they're going to want to make sure they keep feeding him the football, let him get lathered up. Got three on first down. It's second and seven. Looking for a man. It's Basco. Just a short pass to the tight end. There to make the tackle, but the big throw is good enough to give them a first down. Well, I know the tight end did some good things after the catch, but got to give the quarterback credit, too, for the location of the throw. Because he put it out in front of his big man, he was able to make the catch and accelerate, creating some distance there between him and the defense. The shot that clears come to the line in the hurry up. A little pre-snap eye candy for the defense. Got it behind the line. It's Bennett. I want to get my running backs the ball in space as much as possible. And sometimes it doesn't work in the running game. But I can throw it to him. I can try to create some space out wide, dump him the football, let him make some catches, and see if I can't get some big plays out of him. Trying to get a rhythm in the passing game. Now on second down. He's looking to throw. Gets it out quickly. And they make the tackle, but he has plenty for the first down. I don't know who on defense is going to cover this guy. Honestly, he could be a problem for this defense over the middle of the field in the passing game. The clock has reached the two-minute mark, and they have a chance to at least cut into this lead before the break. And the shot to clears are moving quickly down the field. He wants to throw it again. The quick out. Finally run out of bounds, but he has this offense rolling with a first down. Guys have the backfield now. It's not just run the ball downhill anymore. You got to be versatile. I got to be able to trust you in the pass game. And I got to be able to throw you the football. And you can do that right there. I know you're going to catch it, and I can depend on you. The shot to clears getting set on first and ten. Back to throw, it's Basco. Looking for the score! And he got a hand on it to knock it down in the end zone. And that is a huge missed opportunity for the quarterback. You've got your guy wide open in the end zone. You're not under pressure. You just got to hit him. That ball got away. That's one he'd like to have back. The incompletion brings us to second and ten. He's looking to throw. And they took a shot on that one, but couldn't make the connection. It's incomplete. Well, even though that was an incompletion, I wouldn't be surprised if this secondary wants to start playing deeper coverages. Because this offense has shown that they're willing to be aggressive. They've got a lot of speed. This defense cannot allow any big plays here in the second. They were on the move. The two straight incompletions had them staring at third and 10. They'll run the screen. Didn't have much room to run and not a whole lot of help. Short game there and still plenty of ground to cover for the first down. Timeout call by the defense. It's their first of the half as they'll make some adjustments. And if the kicker can put one through, this will be a successful drive. And he'll kick for the three from 36 yards out in the right hash. Right down the boulevard, it's good. And guys, that three ball has us all tied up here in the second.
And we're all square as he's set to kick it away. And he takes this from inside the five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. Appalachian State regains possession and the Mountaineer offense headed to the field. He'll off one deep down the left side. And it slips through his fingers incomplete. That would have been a huge gain if he could have squeezed it. Well, you make big plays for your quarterback in the game. You catch a touchdown pass, he's going to look your way again, often, downfield like they did right there. But give the defense credit, forcing an incompletion. After missing the connection last time, it's second and 10 from the 22. After the incompletion, back to the passing game. He's got it downfield for a huge game. And he just kept running, and he ran away from the crowd, and he'll take it in. Touchdown, Appalachian State. Man, I just love the execution by this offense. Late in the half, man, you want to take the lead. You want to get that momentum on your side, and they do it. They finish it with the passing game. And I'll tell you what, heat that passing game up. You can keep this lead, keep the momentum, and keep putting up numbers. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point is true, and they're on top by seven. Aggressive play calling on that drive. Just two plays, they get the long touchdown pass to pay it off. The kickoff team out there and ready to go. Here he comes from inside his own five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Coastal Carolina has it. The Chanticleer offense headed back to the field. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. A timeout is called as this offense tries to find a way to get more points on the board before the half. That's the way to start a drive, and now they'll try to follow up on first and 10. Looking downfield, it's Vasco. That pressure got to him, and he just had to chuck it out of bounds. Here comes the offense on second down. They'll throw again after the incompletion. Complete in the middle. And they'll finally catch up to him, but not before a big chunk of yardage is picked up. And I think you're seeing these guys in every offense. Now. These littler guys, that they're so quick, it's hard to get a hand on them. Run crisp routes. You can throw it short, you can throw it long, but they're just big-time playmakers. You've definitely seen an emphasis shift towards smaller wide receivers with some serious skill. Caught in the backfield, it's Graves. There's a timeout on the field. Tight game here late in the first half. This is no surprise to defenses anymore. Everybody throws wide receiver screens, and you could tell they were ready for it. They saw the quick game. They pounced on it, got the wide receiver on the ground. That's not the first time they've seen that. Quickly complete. They stop him almost immediately. Short game there, and still a little ground to cover to pick up the first. This quarterback right now is in a groove, and he's doing a nice job in pre-snap. He's reading the coverage, and he's getting an idea of where he wants to go with the football. That's why the ball's coming out of his hands so quickly. That's why he seems like he's in a great rhythm. Throws toward the end zone. And he's got it! Touchdown, Coastal! One of the areas they really focused on with this receiver in the offseason was we need you to make more plays for us in the end zone. When we're taking shots, we need to be able to step up and make tough catches. And David, what a grab right there. And I think a lot of that has to do with trusting your guy, knowing where he's going to be, knowing when he's going to sit down when he's not. So being on the same page and then having a guy that can go get it. Just when the ball is near him, he's going to make the play just like he did right there for six points. PAT unit on the field.
hit that one with some aggression for the point after. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And they cap things off with a scoring toss from 27 yards out. So here comes the kickoff after the touchdown. And the last thing you need right before the half is to give up a big return. Here's the return from inside his tent. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. And with time running out here in the first half, this offense will choose to take a knee. We played two quarters here. Time to go to Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Guys, tough to beat the pageantry and tradition there in Conway. Toughest job inside that stadium right now might just be the scoreboard operator after all those first downs and touchdowns. Big plays have defined this one thanks to two of the best receiving core in all of college football. Let's see if these defenses can adjust and make the necessary chess moves. And with that, let's send it back to the guys at Brooks Stadium. And the Mountaineers will boot it away to start the second half. He'll bring it back from inside his five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. Coastal Carolina takes over, and here comes the offense. Off the play fake on first down to throw. And the quarterback caught up to and sacked at the 12. Oftentimes with play action, you're asking the quarterback to hold on to the ball a bit longer, and you're asking this offensive line to hold up and pass pro a bit longer. Against this athletic front seven on defense, it's going to be tough. So they'll try to salvage this drive on second and long from the 12. From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. Picks his way ahead. He'll get five out to the 17-yard line. It's a nice game, but the big theme here is they just haven't been able to get the run game going on offense. They've been very one-dimensional. They're just not being physical enough at the point of attack. Not exactly the ideal situation for this offense. Third and long, back up inside their 20. He's looking downfield to throw. And the incomplete pass will bring up fourth down tie game here early in the second half and offensively you're hoping to get something going but after that incompletion it kind of kills all of your momentum this quarterback is really going to have to lock in here for the rest of this game if they're going to win and the shot to clears will line up to punt it away that's usually prime return position but he'll make the fair catch just outside the 40. The Appalachian State offense returns to the field. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. So no room to run there, and you wonder after that loss on first down where they turn now. Yeah, and that's why it's so important for the defense to win these first downs, right? You want to create negative plays to make this offense so much more predictable. After getting knocked back to open this drive, it's second and 12. Scanning the field, it's Aguilar. Gets it out fast. They're able to get him stopped just shy of the first down marker. They've done a really good job creating the matchups they want out of the slot. Yeah, dude, get that guy matched up on a linebacker. That guy matched up on a safety. Keep him away from the corners by putting him in the slot. Get him the football. Let him make plays. They'll snap it from the 48 on third and short. They'll try to get it through the air. Catch in the middle. It's Wilson. They've got it inside the 40 at the 39 as they pick up the first down. Well, not down in distance. The quarterback's got to get rid of it so quickly, right? He knows the defense is going to be bearing down on him. So a nice job catching the gun snap and then turning and pivoting, getting it out of his hands quickly and accurately to pick up the first. The give to the back. They get him on the ground at the 33, but not before he picks up six. I know it's sexy to throw the football, but if you can pound it away and get these kind of gains, they will just add up, wear the defense down, get first downs, and ultimately get some points. Six-yard pickup on first down leaves them with second and four. 
The run to the right. And maybe he'll get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. That back had absolutely nowhere to run the football. Actually, is he counting? I think he's counting to make sure there's only 11 guys on defense. They're looking at a third down and short from the 33. From the gun, wants to pass. Unloads to the wideout. And the ball is picked off. And they'll close in on him after a good return on the interception. And that's just excellent cover. Man, cover one, nowhere to throw the football. Look at everybody playing man across the board, and you still got the safety in the middle of the field. Nobody open, and if I'm the QB man, I don't need to force it. I don't force it into tight windows if it's not there. He throws it, unfortunately, gets the interception. Bad decision by the QB there. Coastal Carolina has it. The Chanticleer offense headed back to the field. The last time we saw this offense, we had to look quick. It was a three and out, Jesse. He just had no rhythm in that last drive. So someone's going to have to step up and make a play, David, and get this thing going. Yeah, let's find some juice. Find your guy. Find those plays that you know you can run inside out, forward, backwards. Get some first downs. Get some positive momentum. After the good pickup on first down, let's see if they keep it on the ground. Back to throw, it's Basco. And he can't escape, and down he goes. The defense just simply not fooled by the play action. Oftentimes, as an offense, you're hoping the run fake's going to slow down those pass rushers, but man, oh man, they had their ears pinned back. Ball's at the 29. Defense can taste getting off the field. It's third and long. From the gun, wants to pass. The throw to the outside is complete. He gets those chains moving, gets it out to the 42-yard line. There's a reason third down is called the money down. What a great find by the quarterback. Great job finding his receiver. Uh, at the end of the game, you look at third down percentages, it tells a huge story, and it goes a long way in deciding who wins a football game. On the run, it's Washington. One step wrap, two step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. You know, it's so important for offenses to want to keep third downs manageable. The way you do that is by having success like that, running the football on first down. After the three yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. Give to the running back. And he'll find enough running room to get it just short of midfield at the 49. I think you run that play on second down knowing it's going to make third down easy. You're not trying to hit a home run. You don't need the big play right now. Now you know third down, everything's on the table, everything's available, high success rate. Just this side of midfield, the defense trying to rise up on third and short from the 49. Fights his way for a couple, but stops short of the marker. It's fourth and one. The shot to clears will bring the punt team onto the field. Fourth time tonight we've seen this guy come on to punt. Able to keep them from getting a return and the ball goes out of bounds. They're going to mark it right around the 20. Appalachian State regains possession and the Mountaineer offense headed to the field. They knock him down after a gain of three to the 23. It's just so nice to know you can start off on first down with positive plays. Positive yards, hand the football off, set up a good second down. Got three on first down. It's second and seven. Motion trying to get the defense to show his hand. He just got rid of that one to save the down. Didn't see anything he liked. They couldn't make the connection on second down. Now a third and seven to keep the drive alive. Back to throw. It's Aguilar. 
And they can't make the connection on third down. Man, that's a couple bad throws. Last possession obviously ends in an interception by this quarterback. And now you throw another one, you know, in harm's way. You got to make sure you're throwing to the open guy. Make sure you're taking care of that football. We can't have any more turnovers. The Mountaineers send out the punt unit. He's going to try to flip the field with this one. He'll call for the fair catch here. Coastal Carolina takes over, and here comes the offense. That last drive won't go on the highlight reel after ending in a punt. They'd like to be more productive this time, David. And I think this offense has to be a little bit more balanced. Find a little balance between the run, Jesse, and working in that pass. And I think, too, David, it's just going to take a spark. It just takes one play to get this thing picked up and going. And here comes the offense on second down. He's looking to throw. Caught behind the line. It's Taylor. They get him down after he makes the catch. My old coach said, you'll never go broke taking a profit. Take what's there, take the positive yards, and never complain. Third and short from the 44, and we might know if they plan to go for it on fourth down by what they call here. From the gun, wants to pass. Throws to the wideout. Had it right in his hands in the middle of the field, and it trickled to the ground. It'll be fourth down. Third and short like that on your own side of the field. You're just looking for a quick hitter. You're trying to get the ball out of your hand quickly, but the timing completely off there for the offense, and the ball falls incomplete. And the shot to clears will punt it away on fourth down. They've been busy out there to punt for the fifth time today. No return coming. He'll call for the fair catch. The Appalachian State offense returns to the field. They just didn't quite find the rhythm on that last drive, Jesse. They had to punt it. I think they got to be more physical, David. I think up front they got to do a better job getting blocks and establishing this running game. And how easy does football become if you're the more physical team? If you can threaten the run and then, then run play action, it opens up the whole offense at your disposal. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. To the air, it's Aguilar. Finds a tight end. He is tackled, but it'll be a fresh set of downs. Love the way he didn't just run to a spot. He found the cushion in the zone and got himself open for the first down. Yeah, and you're taught to find that space. Now, don't run right into a zone defender who's sitting there looking at the quarterback and looking at you. So much creativity with routes now and being able to just have subtle moves one way, come back the other way. Nice job by the tight end finding that hole in the zone. Working on the right. And he was loose and not stopped until he gets to the 47-yard line. Great job by the quarterback thrown against zone coverage. You cannot telegraph where you're throwing the football. You cannot eyeball wide receivers. So great job by the quarterback using his eyes, not staring down his guy, and then throwing them open. He'll come out throwing on first down. And he dropped it. It looked for all the world like that would be a catch, and he just got too excited. Well, it doesn't get any more open than that. Good read by the quarterback. He was looking for his tight end. Wide open on the play. Man, you got to make the catch. Man, what a finish we could have. Tie game, third quarter here, second and ten. He'll try to pop the draw. They ripped off seven on that one. Now a third down and three. Draws and screens are a great way to slow down really aggressive pass rushers. It allows the defensive ends and the defensive tackles to run upfield. The offensive linemen kind of push them upfield, go down to the next level, try to sneak in a big play. They turn to the passing game on third and short. And the incomplete pass will bring up fourth down. Well, on third and short and field goal range, they dial up the pass play. Quarterback was trying to get through his progressions. There was just simply nobody open. Couldn't make an accurate enough throw. Ball falls incomplete. Now setting up a big decision here on fourth down. And they'll pat the kicker on the tail and tell him to go give it a shot. He's going to have to break out the thunderfoot on this one. A 57-yard attempt. And that is no good. Flag on the field, and the kicker's going to have a little bit shorter distance to work with here. 
This could turn out to be a huge penalty. Thought they were going to have to settle for three, and now the offense back on the field with a chance for more. And that's a very productive first down play and bringing up second and three. And the Mountaineers are threatening in the red zone. Looking to throw, it's Aguilar. He's got the back in the middle. Can't quite cross the plane to get the six, but they'll have the first down. I like the running back there on the route and the patience he showed, really setting it up. He got to the defender, he was able to put his foot in the ground, get some separation, catch it, and turn upfield for the first. Linebackers moving, trying to confuse the quarterback. We've been treated to an aerial show by these two guys so far as you check out their numbers. Can't wait to see how this fourth quarter is going to go and see who can come out on top in this barn burner. They'll try to get it in with the run. Touchdown, Appalachian State. And they grab the advantage, taking the lead here in the fourth. And what a push up front by this offensive line. Everyone playing in unison, driving out of their stance, working into the second level, hats on hats, creating a lane for that running back. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. The extra point is good, and now in the fourth, they're up by a touchdown and an extra point. A 67-yard touchdown drive there, and they close the deal, pushing their way inches into the end zone. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. And they thought about a return, then thought better of it. They'll bring it out to the 25. Coastal Carolina has it. The Chanticleer offense headed back to the field. Takes the handoff. It's Washington. Finds that crease, and he's got four out to the 29. You see, they need more runs like that. It's just it's been so few and far between. Defensively, they've been in position. They've been winning their one-on-one -on -one battles, getting off the blocks and rallying to the ball carrier. This defense has done a nice job slowing down the run game thus far. They'll go right back to the run. At the 40, there he goes. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. Yeah, defensively, you better be ready to run east and west when you're playing against this offense and their running game. That time, the offense was able to outflank the defense to the right side for a big play. The shot to clears want to pick up the tempo. From the gun, running back gets to give. Got room at the 35. And they'll finally bring him down after he rips off a huge play. Man, I want to be a running back in this offense. When you take that hand off to the right and you see that blocking and all the holes open up, that's a good sight for a running back. You've heard of read and react. I think the defense read it. They just didn't react very well. Well, when you got that kind of a line, just all that push they're getting on that right side, they just pushed the defensive lineman back, got in the linebacker's laps, and man, oh, man, it was, it was brutal up front. Finds his man. It's Tucker. They stop him just a link or two short of the first, and man, what they can do on second down here. Well, you're seeing the balance this offense has and how they can create explosive plays in a variety of ways. We just saw one come in the run game, and now you see one coming in the passing game. I'll tell you, they've got this defense on their heels. They'll run it in the red zone. It's Bennett. And he's going to be taken down, but there's a penalty flag on the field. We'll repeat the previous down, but this time the offense has 10 more yards it has to cover. Dropping back, it's Vasco. Going for it all. 
And that one is right on target if his target was the first row. Yeah, I think you know the situation as a defender, and you know you're up by a score, and you know exactly what's going on with the offense. They got to make some big plays here in the fourth quarter. Nice job playing the deep ball, staying deep, and not giving up the big play. From here, it would just be a 30-yard field goal try. Let's see how aggressive they're going to be to try to pick up that first down. Didn't have much of a choice, just had to throw that one away. It'll be fourth down. Got to give the defense credit on that play, taking everything away, forcing the incompletion. Now it's decision time. Fourth and short, and you're in field goal range. What do you do here? Trailing by a possession. They need to keep the ball. They'll try to convert on fourth down. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. And they get to him and sack the quarterback, and they'll stop the drive on downs. Well, I love the play call by the defense there on fourth down. They were expecting pass, and they didn't decide to just lay back and play zone coverage. They were going to dial up the pressure. They bring the blitz, and they just overwhelmed the offensive line and anyone else trying to protect that quarterback. He had no shot. Appalachian State regains possession, and the Mountaineer offense headed to the field. And they've got a little bit of a cushion here, David. If they can add to it on this drive, it would be nice. And it definitely makes a little bit of a difference. Knowing I'm up by more than a field goal, obviously, Jesse, my mindset switches, and I know I can't make mistakes. Yeah, and David, I don't think they have to reinvent the wheel on offense here. What they've been calling has been working. Just get back to doing what you're good at. After picking up a couple at second and eight. Now the play fake. Quickly complete. At the 45 on his way. Boy, did he look as if he was going to go. Gets it down to the 37. Well, how about the offense setting that play up? We've seen earlier in the game a couple shorter throws. They're just trying to suck those safeties closer to the line of scrimmage, anticipating that they would get an opportunity to take a shot. They called the perfect play at the perfect time right there. Leaves it with the running back. They're trying to send a message with this running game. He stopped after a pickup of four to the 33. It's a point in the game, I think, as a coaching staff, where you really challenge your offensive line to go win the football game, right? We've got a lead late. We're going to run the football. And the defense and everybody in the stadium knows that's what's going to happen. Can we run the ball down their throats and impose our will? That's what this offense right now is trying to do. Gets it inside the 30, down to the 27, a pickup of six. It's going to be important this offensive line is able to get a little bit of push. You just got to give this guy an inch, a little crease, and he can make yards for it. Here comes third and short from the 27. This defense trying to make them settle for a field goal. Off the play fake. Fires to the tight end. Boy, the defense really needed to get off the field there, and they just couldn't do it, and it's a fresh set of downs. Man, that hurts. When you're trailing late in the ball game, you need those stops, and you get them to third down. You get them to those critical points. Now they get the first down. You don't have many left. You better get aggressive. The Mountaineers are on the move. Moving the running back, forcing the defense to adjust. Ryan just big tight end. Not a whole lot of room there on that screen pass as it just never developed. Got to like that big, reliable security blanket. And that's what tight ends are a lot of the times. They're just usually big, huge guys that if I throw it anywhere near him, he's going to pluck it, catch it, and give me some positive yards. Now on second down, they want to keep moving forward and keep that clock churning. Pressure's there, and he gets rid of it. That pass is incomplete, and they're probably fortunate that it wasn't knocked free for a fumble. And finally, the defense is able to get some pressure on this quarterback. They've been trying all game long different ways to affect him. Weren't able to get there. But on that play, because of the pressure, it affected his accuracy. And that's why the ball falls incomplete. Looking for a gap. It's Roberts. And they did not let him get to that first down line. It'll bring up a call here. And now on fourth down, they will put it on the shoulders of the kicker to save them with his foot. 
Splits the upright, it's good. And now the lead is even bigger. You know, it's funny, in an age where there's so many college football analytics and everybody wants to go for it on fourth down, at the end of the day, it still comes down to managing the game. Good decision by the head coach here in the fourth quarter. By kicking that field goal, you've now made it a two-possession game. Your chances of winning this thing have now gone way up. After putting three on the board, the kickoff unit ready to go. He'll bring it out. It's Bennett. Tackled at the 24 and almost breaks even with the yardage he would have gotten with a touchback. Coastal Carolina takes over, and here comes the offense. Pocket starts to collapse. Can't find his man as he took a shot trying to deliver that football, and it'll be second down. And the quarterback gets hit again. We already know this defense has gotten home to him multiple times in this game. So here you are. You're trailing in the game. Defense knows you're going to throw it. They're pinning their ears back. You can't feel very confident right now if you're the play caller, and certainly if you're the quarterback, that you're going to have time to throw. He's got an open man. Oh, look out. The tap. And he eluded the defense, and he'll take it all the way. Touchdown, shot to before that score, considering last rights, now all of a sudden, they're not dead yet. In fact, they're feeling much better, and they're alive, and they've got a chance. And I'm looking on the field right now. I'm looking at their sideline. They're energized, Reese. After that last score, all of a sudden, they believe they can come back and win this game. This is a totally different-looking team than what we saw earlier. Lining up for the PAT. And the PAT will draw them one point closer. This offense prides itself on going after you, and they did with that long touchdown pass to finish off a two-play drive. Kickoff team has the ball teed up, and they're about ready to go. On the move from inside is five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. The Appalachian State offense returns to the field. David, they couldn't pay off that last drive with a touchdown. Now, they moved the ball down the field and executed like they wanted to until they stalled out and had to settle for a field goal. I think if you want to take the next step, too, here and score a touchdown, you got to start finding more creative ways to get your best players the ball. Let's see if they can do that here. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Dropping back, it's Aguilar. Finds his big tight end. Stopped at the 42, but he got 15 yards on the play. Love the play call offensively because you've got the lead. The defense expects you to run the ball. You just did it the previous play, so there you dial up play action, set up an easy throw, and you keep the clock ticking. They'll snap this one from the 42. It's first and 10. They think there's room to run to the right here. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. That's a big stop for the defense. That running back has had so much success. You're down in the football game. You need to get the ball back to your offense. You create a play like this. This will get the fires going, get the juices going. Now we've got to go get a few more. Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. The give to the running back from the shotgun. And a good, solid pickup before the defense cuts him down. I like it. Just frustrate the defense. Get that five to six yards. Make them honor the run. Make them know that you're willing to run the football and run it effectively. Getting late. Pressure building. Huge third down coming up on the road for this offense. Catch in the middle. It's Robinson. Nice job to pick up the first down, and they'll spot it at the 42. 
he has been the go-to guy on offense all game long. And on a critical third down here in the fourth quarter, surprise, surprise, guess who they go to? That guy. And the Mountaineers are moving quickly down the field. Off the play fake on first down, wants to throw. Quickly out to the tight end. And good coverage by the defense, just a short game. A nice job by the defense there tackling the catch and smothering the tight end. They know this offense is going to try to find him in the passing game in a lot of different situations. That time, perfect coverage. And nice job bringing the big guy down. Not easy to do. To the air. It's Aguilar. Fires to the wideout. And it'll be incomplete. This defense is physical and pass deep. Couldn't find his man last time, and that leaves him with a third and six. The aerial assault continues. Grabbed in the middle. It's Horn. They'll pick up enough yardage for the first down. They've got it at the 30. Well, this defense has given up some big plays in this game so far, but they've got a lot of talent on that side of the football. Someone has to step up here, make a play, get a stop, and put their team in a position to win. We have arrived at the two-minute warning, a one-possession game as this offense tries to hold on. The Mountaineers have it with a first and ten. They keep it on the ground. Clock is their friend. And the defense finally makes the stop after the sweet run and good game. Defense uses a timeout quickly, trying to get that ball back and preserve time for their offense. Just inside the red zone, first and 10 from the 19. Right back to the well. You'll take this every time, five yards on the first down play. Timeout called there by the defense, desperate to get the ball back and save as much time as possible. Going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. Leaves it with the back. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. Quick timeout called by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. Boy, they'd love to pick up this conversion and go to work with a first and goal. They'll try to power their way ahead. He's brought down, but he's got him inside the 10. First and goal from the 8. Man, it's so nice to have a guy that you can depend on. Like, th this offense is built around him for a reason. Just a, a good running back. You can see, gets north-south, doesn't dance, picks up positive yards, breaks tackles. He's just a really good player, and that's why this offense runs through him. And the offense is content with where it is. They'll take a knee. 